What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So today guys and girls, I'm going to be showing you how to install something that everybody has been asking me about for a long time. I'm going to be showing you how to install the DUI checkpoint into your LSPFR. Now, this is a very simple install, but it does come with a few um of the um, a few requirements. Now, the first thing you're going to need is the menu SP, the native UI, script hook v, script hook v .net, and the DUI checkpoint. I will leave all these links in the description below so you guys can download those. Um, once you have them downloaded, uh, come back to the video and you know you can go download them and then pause it. I'll leave all the links down there for you. And then come back to the to the video here, and then we're going to get started. So, assuming that you've done that and you're back here, here's what we're going to do. All right. Now you're going to need your your Grand Theft Auto Five directory. All right, I got mine up right here. Now the first thing that we're going to install, guys, is the menu. You're going to need all this stuff right here: the menu SP, native UI, script hook v, script hook v dot net, and DUI checkpoint. Like I said, I'll leave all the links down there so you guys can go download them and then come back. Okay. Um. So here's what you want to do, guys. Let's go ahead and double click on the menu SP. Let me show you guys step by step how to install this stuff. It's very easy, guys. So what you want to do, guys, excuse me, you want to highlight the menu.asi and then hold down your control key and highlight menu stuff, okay? You're going to grab both of these, drag them, and drop them in your main directory just like that, okay? Once you've done that, hit the refresh button in your directory to put, it, put everything in its place. Close that, delete the shortcut, and the next thing you're going to need is a na the native UI. Now, you're going to need a scripts folder for this, guys, okay? If you do not have a scripts folder like this right here, all you have to do is right-click in your main directory, go to New, then click on Folder, and just name it Scripts. Just like this right here, all lowercase letters, okay, guys? So let's open up our scripts folder. I'm assuming most of you have that by now. All right, and then open up your native UI that says release. Double click on that. Now, the only file you're going to need, guys, is this native UI.dll. See, I already have mine over here. Just grab this, drag it, and drop it into your scripts folder just like that, okay? That's all you got to do. All right, and then we're going to delete that. Let's go back to our main directory. All right, next is going to be script hook V. You're going to open this up. A lot of you are familiar with these next two. You want to double click on the folder that says bin. Alright. And the only two files you need here, guys, is script hook v.dll and dinput 8.dll. Okay. You're going to grab both of these, drag them into your main directory, and drop them just like that. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's get rid of that shortcut as well. Alright. Next up, script hook v.net. Go ahead and open that up. All right, you're gonna you're gonna need these files right here: the script hook v.net 3.dll. I'll highlight that, and then the script hook v.net 2.dll, and then the script hook v.net.asi. These are the three folders that you need right here. Okay, so take a good look. All right, grab this right here. It's gonna pull all three of them in. Pull it in, drag it, and drop it just like that in your main directory. Okay, and then get rid of that shortcut. And then last but not least is the DUI checkpoint. Now, this is very simple to install, guys. All right? It's very simple to install. And I'm going to take you in the game and show you guys how to load this up and all that because, you know, there's a little process you got to go through with that. So open up your DUI checkpoint. All right? Now, there's two ways to do this, guys. You can do it through YMAP, which is custom maps, or you can do it through menu. We're going to do it through menu because it's a lot easier like that, quicker access. So double-click where it says menu right there. And then what you want to do, guys, you can read the readme right here. It'll tell you, uh, put the folder menu stuff in the root of GTA 5, okay? So all that means is you just grab the menu stuff folder right here, and you drag it in your main directory, and you drop it just like that. Now, once you do that, you will see this folder here in menu stuff highlight. If you will double-click that, and then double-click on Spooner, then you'll see right here, Polito Highway DUI, okay? I have a couple other ones in here. But you'll see the Polito Highway DUI. So it, it kind of merges and, and goes where it's supposed to be, all right? Once you've done all that, let's close out of this. Get rid of that shortcut. Of course, refresh your directory. And then close out of that. 
and I will see you guys inside of the game. Okay, guys, so once we're inside the game here, uh, what you want to do, uh, now, keep in mind when you push the key to pull up your menu trainer, this is what's going to happen. First time you push it, and it's going to happen every time you go in the game, okay? When you push it, it's going to make a, a, like a dinging sound, okay? Like a little, some kind of little sound. Once it does that, you push the key again, and your menu trainer will pop up, okay? So go ahead and press F8. It's going to make that sound. Push it one more time, and there's your trainer. Now, here's what you want to do, guys, all right? Let me go over here and get in my car real quick. It's going to take us right to the location when we do this, okay? So you want to go down to Object Spooner right here, okay? Object Spooner, and then go to Manage Save Files. Sorry about that. Did you guys see that? Manage Save Files, all right? And if you go down, see here's my old tunnel, my tunnel, and there's Polito Highway DUI. Click Enter on that, and then go down to Load Placements, and click Enter. And just give it, it's going to take a minute to load up. But uh, when it loads up, you guys are going to be amazed at what this looks like. It's really, it's really cool. Like, I love this. And uh, if you guys want a tutorial on how to install the tunnel in Polito Bay, I mean the tunnel in, uh, yeah, in Polito Bay and all that, I can show you guys how to do that as well. It's, it's, it's really cool. It's just really cool little mods. Now, I'm glad you guys decided to tune in my video today, guys. Thank you so much for love and support, guys. We are so close to 5K. I think last time I looked, I was at 4,930 subscribers. Okay, so now that we are here, it's loaded up. Should say file loaded there above your map. All right. And if you would drive down this way, this is your DUI checkpoint right here. Now, if you'll notice, you have a secondary lane right here. That guy was really swerving. This is your secondary lane right here. Okay, guys. So if you find somebody that's 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 under the influence, you can tell them to pull over here to uh, secondary. Okay. And then. Whoa, brother, what are you doing, my man? What are you doing? Get out of here. Come on, man, get out of here. Anyway, uh, the DUI checkpoint is on both sides of the interstate. I'll show you guys here real quick. So here's this side, and then you also have a DUI checkpoint over here as well. It's got little buildings here. Uh, you can call in other backup units to... Uh, you know to come over here and sit with you while you're doing your DUI checkpoint or however you however you want to do it it's got signs posted here uh, you know unauthorized vehicles not displaying uh, distinguishing uh, whatever that says or license plates issued for disabled persons will be towed away at owner's expense okay so it's got the realistic signs and everything the cones uh, if you go down here on each side of the interstate of course these signs are on both sides it also has a sign up that says watch for stop vehicles. Now keep in mind guys, if you have traffic police, you can also use this feature right here by press, pressing F, uh, F6. And then you can go up here and kind of put down your own cones if you want to. Like just say if I want to put some cones down right here. I would go into this and pull up my cones. And let's see, are they directly behind me? Get them directly behind me. All right, so get them directly behind me. And you just start walking. Oh. Let me go back up to place them. All right, start walking and placing your uh, your cones down just like that. And then you turn around. There you got some cones out there. I'm just using this for an example, guys. But you can place your own cones. You can also uh, hit that S6 key again and go up to the police sign. And you guys know what that is. That's the police do not cross. Uh, you can put that anywhere you like. Uh, but that's just a little example, guys, of, of what you can do with this DUI checkpoint. Uh, in order to work this DUI checkpoint, though, you might want to stop your traffic or at least slow it down like this. Uh, in my case, I would just completely stop traffic like that. That way you have a chance to walk up and talk to the driver and get their information and all that. So it's pretty much self-explanatory from here. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in. Let me quit my traffic control here. Thank you all for tuning in my video. I appreciate the love and support, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video and that you're going to make good use of this DUI checkpoint. Uh, it is a really cool mod. Took me a little bit to learn how to install it, um, but I finally got it. So to those who were asking about this, you're very welcome. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. But um, now, guys, you know, I do this stuff for you, for real, like on a more serious tone. I do all this stuff for you guys, um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your love and support. Make sure you subscribe to me if you haven't already. 
and smash that like button don't forget about the giveaway guys go watch my latest vlog to find out how to enter your chance to win on the giveaway i'm giving away some really really cool stuff guys all right so i love y'all so much till next time god bless take care stay in prayer love one another and peace out